Warning, warning, warning. It's about to get crazy. crazy. <laughs> Hello guys, DG Studios here. Welcome back to another video today. What is today, Chris? Yeah, Go's birthday. Boom. And I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, I, today I'm turning 14, which is... I'm not old, okay? Um, yeah, we're going to head to Universal Studios tomorrow for Halloween Horror Nights and for the whole day. But today, pretty much, I'm gonna be hanging out with my friends at the mall, so I'm gonna get some footage of that. This is gonna be doing the whole time. <laughs> Gosh. Bro! So you, you don't even fit in the camera view when I look at you. <laughs> Logan, you should try this on. So how does it feel to be cool and have a camera and be like, hey guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me a nice makeover where something is like, ooh, revealing. You know, not revealing, but like that. But like something like. <laughs> have you filmed? That's so weird. <laughs> no, I'm. <meant> <laughs> <laughs> You're just fine. I'm not wearing that. What is? Why not? What is? What is this? What are, what are, are those bugs? Yes, because bugs are in your butt. <laughs> but Damn, that's actually a nice. Yeah, it's a really nice jacket, but get one in black. You look nice and now. Oh, all guys look better in black than any There's no black one. I like how she gives it to me. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I'm recording. I'm recording. Why are you whispering? <laughs> Oof. Dude, it looks cool! Dang! See, I know my stuff! No. But you'd have to wear a black shirt with it. I don't know. Right? Okay, if you're gonna wear a jacket like this, you have to, you have to stand up straight, you know? Just stand up straight. Oh, I didn't know where okay. you were! <laughs> yeah! That came for serious. <laughs> no, no. I got new shoes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, how do I stop it? Oh, you're recording, just go. Yeah, but how do I stop recording it? <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so if I had a channel, uh -huh. would you guys follow me? How do I work this? Okay. Oh, you have to go like this. Maybe okay. you can't go like this because then you should have double On that tripod thing. My right hand, so I can talk to you. Uh, you know. But doesn't your arm get tired? Not really. Not I have guys. guns, so. Oh yeah, totally. I do. Okay, so I'm currently holding everybody's drinks. It's pretty great. I didn't have a drink. And it's his birthday too, so. Mm -hmm. It's the best birthday this ever. This one's Patty's, this one's He's yours. He's a cup holder. I, I didn't, I Dude, you have to let them go oh, when yeah. you realize you found the softest pants, sweatpants ever. And they say something stupid on your butt. You see I'm in France. <laughs> you look like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to Paris. Yes. Yeah. I try to buy Diego a Baskin Robbins Oreo Sunday because it's his birthday, right? I order and the dude he's like We don't have any Oreo ice cream right now. <laughs> First of all, that's like the number one flavor that everyone likes, so why wouldn't you have Oreo ice cream? And I was like, okay, can we get a cone? And he's like, yeah. It's gonna be 350. And I was like, that the cone itself is 139, but with the ice cream, it's three dollars and fifty cents. Why am I about to pay three dollars and fifty cents for a cone? We turned it away. No. Okay, I thought you gave me that money to spend. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, the jacket was fifty dollars. The game was forty. Oh. <laughs> That wasn't the plan. Okay, Ma. you should have told me before. What do you mean? Twelve dollars from a hundred dollars. Wait, you gave him a hundred? Yes. Oh, Fifty dollars for a jacket? Are you kidding me? Mom.
with us at a random moment. So I had to tag him on. But... Nice talk. Wait, what are you saying? David Dorberg, it is my cousin's birthday and he loves your videos. It would be amazing if you can surprise him. If he doesn't get a good version, I will. Aw, Caesar, dang. You're really quiet. I really don't understand. We made it to the park. How do you feel? Am I excited, Mom? How about you, Caesar? Good, good talk. Uh, oh, we're going into the hospital. Oh. oh my God. Transformers ride right now, and Christian, we just went on the mini thread. How was it? Good. It was good. Yeah. And right now the bumblebee be an awesome primer out. So we are currently waiting in line for the transformer. Caesar, how do you feel? General more shower here. Commanding good talk. So if anyone sees trouble, uh oh, that's trouble, all right. It's Ravage. He's after the All Spark. Mummy? On the ask I'm kidding. We're going on the stairs. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. That is a lot of stairs. That is a lot of stairs. 
Caesar, what's up? I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm about to get done, so you ready? Good talk. <laughs> we have we got them. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Caesar! 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 We got them! We got them! We got them! Good talk. So I got the s'mores and Christian got this. Oreo kind of flavor. And are you gonna share it, Chris? You want to share? Good talk. Oh, this is lit. Caesar, how does it taste? Good talk. When I thought I had enough sugar from the mall yesterday. It was really good. Really, really good. You want what? Real food? This is real food. Are you enjoying this food, Caesar? Good talk. This is my YouTube channel. Watch this. Ow. <laughs> Look what I caused, Mom. Look what I caused. I love this camera. Hey, Good talk. So if you haven't seen my previous uh, Universal Studio vlog, it's um we're going to studio tour which is pretty much to show us the movie sets and all that and how they film movies here and we also have the King Kong, the Fast and Furious ride here as well. So that's pretty lit as well. Let's go. Gotcha. Good talk. How is this heat treating you? The heat? Yeah. It's whatever. It's whatever? Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the heat? Good talk. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Uh, some of the vehicles and even some of the dinosaurs. We keep them here for you to take a look at in these cages and uh, There's no no dinosaurs. No, where are the di 
I, I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Normally we have some dinosaurs in the cages for you to look at. Uh, I'll figure out what happened. But anyway, take a look here to your left. You can see this large mobile lab that was used in the movie Lost World Jurassic Park. That was the second Jurassic Park movie. We found, we found those dinosaurs. These Dilophosauruses, they escape every once in a while, but luckily they don't get too far. So. So thank you for finding those dinosaurs for us. Oh, crap, um, crap, But don't crap. worry, uh, dinosaur saliva? No, 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 no. This is right on close. Don't have to worry about that. But I want to tell you, there's one problem. In the script, it's supposed to be raining. Now, we don't get a lot of rain here in sunny Southern California. You can't just have a, a crew sit around and wait for it to rain. So you know what we do? I'll tell you what we do. We make it rain! Okay, not make it rain, but we, like this. The, we use these uh, high-tech devices. They're called uh, uh, sprinklers. Yeah, sprinklers. Just those water in the air. There is a downside, though, to bigger raindrops. Um, increases the chance of flooding. You know, more water in each raindrop. So uh, we have to know because of flooding in this area. Uh, but don't worry. You're, you only have a chance of getting wet if you're sitting in a blue seat. Only the blue seats are in danger of getting wet. This is Southern California. All this water is going to be recycled. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, Ben's got a section. We're actually going to get to go into a soundstage. This is a hot set. It's all decorated and ready for filming. Uh, they're going to be filming a period piece in here. It's a scene that takes place in the 1980s in a subway station in San Francisco. See, people used to put money. before we allow guests, you know, back into the water for rest and relaxation. And what? Another another shark. There can't be another shark. That's impossible. Oh, no. Uh-oh. There is another shark. George is still out in the water. Everybody shout for George! 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 He can't hear you, George! George, get out of the water! George, you're in danger! Oh, no, George! Oh! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! You know, George is always telling me, yes, it should be much safer up here uh, behind these giant barrels of gasoline. Okay, maybe I didn't think this through. Okay, um... I know, I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are thinking, oh, that shark doesn't look very real either. But I heard some real screams. I did. Right here in car one, there was some actual gasps of terror. Oh my. Now, that is not the actual shark that was used in Steven Spielberg's movie Jaws. The big difference is this shark actually works. The one in the movie did not work very well. As a matter of fact, um, Remember when I told you about Soundstage 21 on the front lot, my favorite Soundstage? That Soundstage has a giant water tank in it, and when they built the mechanical shark for Jaws, they tested it there in Soundstage 21, and it worked great. Then they took the mechanical shark to the Atlantic Ocean, you know, for filming, and it broke down almost every day. You want to know why? They tested it in fresh water, and then when they put it in salt water, the sediment and salt water would get in the gears and mess it all up. As a matter of fact, um, the, the crew started calling the production flaws. Remaining Whoville sets from Ron Howard's film, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. These look like big, heavy, permanent structures, right? Concrete, brick? No. Actually, foam rubber, chicken wire, very lightweight. In the movie, the Who's had a pretty bad neighbor, you know, the Grinch. But here on the back lot, 
they have an even worse neighbor, Norman Bates. Yes, it's the Bates Motel, and look up on the hill. That's where we're going right now. That's the Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's original thriller, Psycho. Three quarters of the hill, and they did that because Alfred Hitchcock wanted the house to look like it was further away up a tall hill. No, oh no, uh-oh. Watch out, everybody. Norman Bates, he's here. We're all in terrible danger. Norman! Faster! We gotta get out of here! Where's your mom, Norman? That's ever built here on the Universal lot is the crash site set from Steven Spielberg's movie, The War of the Worlds. Now, the clowns weren't in the movie. The clowns are part of Halloween Horror Nights. We actually have mazes. We have guests that actually walk through this area. But that is an actual 747 that was used in the movie and brought here just for this film. I'm going to let production designer Rick Carter and director Steven Spielberg tell you more about this amazing set. The technology that they have at their disposal nowadays to make these films. All right, everybody, it's time for us to use our imagination. We're about to enter into the world of Fast and Furious. Are you ready? You are? Okay. You're under arrest right now. Ladies, just back up a little bit. Got it. Slightly. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't get into your city. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle of the time. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. John Trace does. I just can't hold him forever. Buddy, Roman, we're up. Try to move that vehicle. Which one of you is the witness? Speak now or you all get fried. This is our turn. Let him, 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 let him,